Hello to all you loyal people that clicked on this video. Today I'll be taking a look at a tool that could potentially be essential for SSD and HDD users out there, at least when requiring more functionality than what Microsoft is offering us with Windows. There are quite a number among us that frequently format, split, merge, convert drives and a lot more. Unfortunately, we all kind of have to agree on the fact that the integrated disk management within Windows isn't exactly versatile. Don't get me wrong, it gets the basics done, but once you require a little more, starting at converting an MBR system drive to GPT or NTFS to FAT32 and so on and so forth, you're sooner or later running against a wall, unless you go down the route of entering and going through a bunch of commands manually with the command prompt. That method is far from being intuitive and user-friendly though. Furthermore, it's an invitation for nasty mess-ups if you don't look closely. Which is why today I'm introducing you the so-called Ease Us Partition Master. It basically builds on the missing Windows functionality and gets the job done without any issues. The great thing about it, many features are completely free to use. This, by the way, happens to be a sponsored video, meaning the software developer Ease Us is paying me a bit of money to introduce you to their piece of software, money that will be put to good use to keep my channel going. But rest assured, I will not let them shape my opinion and will therefore right off the bat warn you as well as Ease Us that users will have to deal with a few annoying limitations. As already mentioned, the already included disk management within Windows tackles the very basic stuff without any issues. Only to a specific point though. Once more complex drive issues, configurations, partitions, file systems and so on are on the table, you quickly wish Microsoft would have implemented a more advanced tool to work with. That unfortunately is not the case. The Partition Master by Ease Us, on the other hand, is promising us a lot in that regard, maybe even a little too much at times. Part of the software package, for one, also is the migration of operating systems, so basically cloning drive A to drive B and that fully bootable, a concept we are very familiar with for quite some time now already. It's crucial to know, however, that there are certainly noteworthy differences between the tool's free and licensed version. So I've now downloaded a fresh copy of Partition Master onto my system. You can choose from a bunch of different languages, but I'm as always sticking to English even though I'm a native German speaker. Once the installation is complete, we are being greeted by the Partition Master suite in which we can make use of some more ESAS offers via a single mouse click. These additional tools are integrated and can be installed directly from here, but that's not the point of today's video. Time to fire up the Partition Master then. In its main window, we see all our drives and partitions nicely organized to avoid any mix-ups. This also applies to USB flash drives and external hard drives or SSDs for that matter that are connected via USB. The fact I'm really into right off the bat is that we can easily resize or move partitions on the fly, either by setting the slider accordingly via mouse or you enter your desired values manually if things need to be precise. Right after that, we can execute that operation. We also can extend or even shrink drives and or partitions. Sadly, this brings us to our very first obstacle or rather limitation of the free version of this tool. It quickly becomes obvious that to make use of those slightly more advanced features, let's go with that term, a license is needed. Well, I guess they need to make a living of something as well. Maybe we are allowed to merge partitions. As a matter of fact, that is allowed and it works like a charm. So how is splitting different active partitions going then? Before the operation, we can even choose from different cluster sizes as well as file systems. Definitely very versatile. Unfortunately, one can't go through with it using the free version. What a bummer. Now here's a quick comparison. Reducing the size or rather shrinking a partition using the integrated disk management tool within Windows works without any hiccups. Just a shame it doesn't actually allow us to increase the size within the Windows tool. 
that's something even the free version of the Partition Master is capable of doing. A feature that I'm really interested in is formatting, because that's the type of functionality I personally always run into problems and or limitations with within the integrated disk management within Windows. Using the ESAS tool, you not only can choose from all those Windows file systems, but also make use of ext2, 3 and 4. For instance, I will now reformat my almost 300 gigabyte large NTFS partition into FAT32. According to my knowledge, that's not so easily achievable with common Windows tools. The ESAS Partition Master doesn't beat around the bush though and grants us that very unusual wish without any issues. A FAT32 partition of this type I certainly don't see very often, I have to admit. Of course, the same thing can be reversed. You can format FAT32 to NTFS. Needless to say, no partitioning software would be truly complete without offering us users the option to clone, no matter if operating system or regular drive partitions. Just a bit of a bummer that even the smallest clone job requires a license key. Without any license, you therefore obviously will not be able to migrate any operating systems. Other than that though, there are a few additional features at our disposal, such as file system checks for errors and the like, just like Windows' own version of that concept. So in conclusion, my personal opinion on the Partition Master by ESAS is that it's a fantastic software package. It is riddled with lots of artificial limitations, however, requiring a license for almost every second or third feature there is. From a purely technical perspective though, this piece of software impressed and convinced me to actually purchase myself a personal license for it. But even the free version beats the disk management tool already included within Windows by a long shot. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, you loyal supporters. Take care everyone.